Everybody, I want to show you all something. Here, let me click on this to bring it up so you can see it well. Look at this. It is 5, I don't know, what is it, 59 a.m. About to turn 6 o'clock in the morning. My sunrise is at 6, I don't know if you can see that, 6.35 a.m. It's overcast. It's clouds right over my place right here. And I want to show you something that you might find impressive, okay? Check this out. This is why we use amorphous solar panels. Now, there's four panels on this controller, 468 watt panels on this one controller, okay? And those 468 watt panels, um, if you do the math on them, is roughly about 250 watts of power. Now, that makes all the sense in the world if it's three in the afternoon, <laughs> but it's basically an amp of power coming in right now, right? There it is. Well, hey, there you go. It was flickering earlier an amp of power coming in overcast 30 minutes before sunup. And this is based just on the fact that there's reflective light from the sun way out in the horizon. So this is giving you an idea why to use amorphous solar panels and why I use them. I get many more hours a day of charging into my battery bank, many more hours a day than the other panels. They're cheaper, they're more durable, they last longer, and all, almost a lot of the amorphous panels you can buy were made in America. So, giving you that idea, come back down, and you'll see now that it is, where we at there, I, it's hard to tell. That's why I put the analog one up there, wherever it's, the analog one. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. And if you look over here, let me see if I can enlarge that screen a little bit. Okay. Where is it at? 6.35 is when the sun even comes up. Wherever we're at there, somewhere. And it's overcast. And here's uh, sun up, wherever the hell it went. And there's the clouds that are going over the top of my place right now. So this ought to tell you something about why we use amorphous solar panels, okay? Just giving you a little idea here. Not too bad, huh? And for something for it to not even be freaking day uh, daylight out yet. All right, folks. 7:24. Basically, I waited an hour and a half. Out. You can see what I've got, this. and I want to show. There is the sun, way the hell over there, just coming off the horizon. And here's the panels on my roof. I want you to look carefully at the shadows on these ribs. They're just the tops of the ribs are just now starting to get a little bit of light. That's an hour and 20 minutes after I showed you the beginning of this video. And I have four of these panels hooked up to that controller, four of them hooked up to another controller, and then that one up at the very ridge way up there and that net one next to it hooked up to another controller so uh just I, they make the, these these damn panels will will make a lot of amps and so you're getting about 18 amps 18 amps and then over there about nine amps uh, coming off of this stuff that's on this roof of this house these unisolars have been up here going on four years and they're bulletproof so just give me an idea what we're looking at here that is the time and I can show you again the time here if you like is now what is it here <laughs> I can get it focused on it where the hell is it oh it faded out right now it is 725 in the morning still <laughs> not too damn shabby is it <laughs> All right, guys. I mean, look at the shadows here. Shadows are long. Sun's barely even coming up. Now, so we went out on the roof. I came back in, made me a cup of coffee, and it is currently seven. Well, you, you got to look at the analog. Okay, same date, same all this jazz. I'm trying to. I don't know why this is so damn blurry, but it's currently. Looks like 7.35. All right, now 7.35, it's still in the morning. 
So, and it's barely getting any daylight outside. However, I want you to look at this. Okay, what we got here. Oh, can you see that good? There. I want you to look at that. 5.1 amps. 5.1 amps. Now, four of those panels is about 270 watts. So that's technically about 18 and a half amps. So at seven in the morning, it's charging, what is it? Nearly a third of its capacity. 5.2 there. Can you get that out of your system? And this is the reason we're talking amorphous. If you look at the other video, I'll put the link down in there about the Steon or Styon or whatever they want to call it panels. I want you to pay attention to that. Why? And look how I lay pieces and boards and things across it. If you looked up on these panels, there's bird shit and everything else on my panels on the roof. I just showed you the video in the big, uh, here in the middle here. So we're going to go look at that. And then for logical reasons, I will run up again and over and show you. This is my other controller. Okay. That's got four panels on it. And let's go back. There's the the uh, wind turbine from the shop coming in right there and then there is one there with two panels on it okay so all of that shown right there right there right there and coming back down here as you can see the time it's not changed not nothing Coming back out here, you can see the shadows are a little bit thicker. And I'm doing this for a reason, but those panels are not real, real clean. And this is the whole idea. You can see there's still some shadow in the rails over there. But this is the point of amorphous, amorphous solar. I want everybody to understand that amorphous will give you five to eight hours, literal, of more charging. So what do you need? Twice as many batteries with a bunch of cheap uh, solar panels, you know, or do you want something like that? That's the idea behind it. The panel that's here is still putting out very well, but it is just now fairly well awake. Um, probably putting out about 20% of its rating, and it's a regular panel. Compare that to an amorphous panel, and if, uh, that does look like those wires are over the top of this panel, but I'll show you that they're way behind it and they never interfere with it. And the panel is on a winter angle. Okay, all right guys, hope that helps out. Hope y'all know which kind to buy. The uh, amorphous panels on the roof versus the polycrystalline out here. There is really no comparison.